continuing to field questions for U.S. Simile. I have a student who's asking about the change in the U.S. Simile question pool for 2CK this year, 2022. I know many of you are studying for step one, relax, uh, but you should be informed as to are there any changes uh, in the 2CK that might be relevant to you getting a jump start on things now, right? You're going to be educated as far as what's happening with U.S. Simile. Uh, so the student's asking about the change in the U.S. Simile question pool as U.S. Simile is reported. Uh, how does that affect our prep? Is there anything you should know? So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. The link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Recently created Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. Now I'll start the clip. So the US Simile, February 21st this year, 2022, uh, they released a notice online for 2CK that from June 29th until end of July, there would simply be a delay in score reporting due to quote unquote necessary modifications in the annual testing pool, uh, which it ends there, okay? They did not specify beyond that. In 2021, in the spring, they had mentioned how they were adding more ethics slash communication questions to the step one and step two, where students were freaking out. And then as a result, I made a high yield ethics PDF. I can actually link that below. I'll link in a pinned comment for kicks. Um, not that it's relevant to this change, but just in general, there is a slightly greater fraction of ethics uh, since uh, spring of 2021 on the US Similes. But as far as this year, what it means, the answer is nothing really. The same way we used to have NBMEs 6 through 8 online for 2CK, they were, they were retired and now we have 9 through 11. The same way we had 20 through 24 online for step 1 and they were retired and now we have 25 through 30. But the content is the same, okay? People like to speculate, all right, as far as, uh, oh, you know, there could be changes as far as, add, you know, clinical details or... Nothing really, okay? I mean, nothing dramatic. Um, it's just going to be opinions because USMLE did not specify objectively. We don't have that objective information as far as what what in what is entailed by that necessary modification uh, annually in the testing pool, okay? Probably just swapping questions in and out, but the content of the questions is the same. It does not affect your actual prep, okay? It's escapism. People like to manifest myths as far as uh, you know, ways to uh, ways to vent their stress, et cetera, uh, the notion of experimental questions, et cetera, it's a bunch of nonsense. Uh, just don't worry about this this change in the testing pool this year. Um, as far as I'm aware, there's nothing beyond just uh, the U.S. Assembly communicated that there will be a delay in scores for the two CK uh, June 29th to end of July, as I said, um, as they swap questions uh, from their massive pool. Uh, in and out of the uh, testable assessments. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content if you like my stuff. Subscribe my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.